What is good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Curdy Ball, man, and I am back with another YouTube video. And today we about to be talking about how to be an independent artist in 2020, man. Yes, an independent artist. No label, no record deal, no contract, none of that, bro. I'm talking about just you. You doing your own stuff. You got your own management, you feel me? You got your own shit, you feel me? You controlling your own shit. You getting 100% of your royalties. All that good stuff, man. So if that's what you're looking for, man, then stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe, man. And by the way, check out this merch I picked up from LA. It's called On Wave. On Wave. So, you know, going crazy, man. Link will be in the bio. You feel me? Go tap the IG. Go mess with him. Go cop some merch if you can, man. But yeah, man, this video is about to be about how to be an independent artist, man, in 2020. So we're about to get into the video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share it to your homie if you, you know if they want to be an independent artist. You feel me? Because I'm also dropping some gems in this video, man. But without further ado, let's get into it, man. Number one, get on social media platforms, bro. That's like most important right now. Like social media is really going hot right now. Especially with this COVID thing you know, going on, it's a lot more, a lot more people on their phones and shit. You feel me? So being on social media would be, you feel me? It's gonna get you. It's gonna. It's not. It's not just gonna not do anything. You know, it's, it's actually pretty good for you to build your fan base. You feel me? So you know, get on the social medias: Instagram, Facebook, Snap, Twitter. You know, anything you can get on. Pretty much, really be on Twitter like that. You feel me? But hey, everybody got their own thing, man. I just have to put that out there, but. uh yeah, you can honestly, whatever you find on the app store and they, whatever, you can put your music on it, you feel me? Then do it, you feel me? Why not? Number two, if you're a beginner and you don't got beats, you feel me? So like if you're a beginner, like how I used to, I used to just go on YouTube and type up tight beats, you feel me? Boom, boom, easy beats, you feel me? Producers make tight beats, you feel me? For people to just hear their sounds, you feel me? They make free tight beats. If you want to throw them on your YouTube channel or wherever you want to post them, they got tight beats you can buy, you feel me? So beats go for around 60 to maybe 200 to 500 beats. Beats, it, it just depends on the situation and you feel me? How good the beat is, honestly, man. Cause some beats could take off and get you like, you know, big chill. But uh, well, if you want to start getting paid with your music, then I advise you to start getting on tight beats, man. Uh, you, in some, you may have problems, but in some cases you may get away with them, you feel me? But it's best if you just have your own beat, so you don't have to worry about that and get 100% royalties or however it is with your distributor. We're going to get into distributor later, so just stay with me. But basically, to sum it up, you can use a tight beat, but you have to put the producer's credit or they're going to mess it up, you feel me? Or you just can't you can't monetize the beat if it's, you feel me, a free tight beat. You can only monetize a beat if you bought it, you feel me, or if you made it. But yeah, uh, make sure you got cover arts, man, good quality music. You know, you can't be just dropping weak stuff and, you know, people are not going to really mess with it. You feel me? Like, if you drop in, like, at least try to keep the, the quality don't got to be extremely high, but at least just keep it to a minimum. Like, at least put your effort in to, you feel me, to where it's good enough. You feel me? Don't just drop low quality stuff and think it's gonna be numbers like, but nah you gotta put work in like real talk you feel me this is, this is for real like but on to the next one though man make sure you social network with people bro that's that's one of the important things you feel me social networking with people and collabing with them bro you want to make sure you talking to people because people suggesting your music you know one person could be listening to your song while they homie there so they homie might mess with it that's two people you feel me so i'm just saying like it'd be just best if you just uh whenever you get the chance just put your music out there you feel me you know, in real life or on social media or wherever but you know but we on to the next one let's get it and make sure to do collabs with people bro like i know you may not like if you don't like doing collabs with people then you just gonna have to go extra hard in on your music bro so if you're doing collabs with people, bro, that's that's another good way to get your music out there and just show people, you feel me? Because, you feel me, it's just common sense. If you collab with somebody, then they fans is going to hear what you talking about, you feel me? So, and they might want to mess with your music after that, you feel me? So, you know how that go, man. But we on to the next one. Make sure to stay consistent with it, man. You can't be off, man. Like, and if you is, don't feel bad about it, you know, just keep it flowing, you feel me? But make sure you kind of uh, try your best at least to stay consistent. If you're serious about it, stay consistent with it. 
So your fan base, you think, you know what I'm saying? You can't be like Uzi, you feel me? And wait, you give it a whole two years to drop the eternal and take. But anyway, that's not even his fault, but that's not even a, that's not even a deal on this video. But basically what I'm just saying is just try to stay consistent, bruh. Try not to put too much content in. Try not to spam, you feel me? Like on Instagram, your stories and stuff. Try not to spam the same songs back to back. You feel me? Because people not gonna wanna see the same thing over and over, so. Make sure you just get that right. Uh, engage with your fan base, man. You feel me? People be getting it messed up thinking like, not mess engaging with your fan base. You're gonna get somewhere like, nah, they the ones who, you feel me? Like Cardi and them, they, the, they fan base and all that's the reason why they got the Cuban Meeks, the DDSs, all that on the net, you feel me? So I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not saying it like that, but I'm just saying like the fan base is very important when it comes to making music. I mean, not making music, but being an independent artist, so. I want you to just keep that in mind. And the best distributors, and basically what a distributor is, like a business platform thing that posts your music on every platform like iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Spotify, you know, all that stuff. If you're trying to get your music on all the platforms, you feel me, you're just messing around or you being serious with your music and you want to get your music out there, then this would be a good way, man. I'll be messing with United Master because they actually free right now, you know? So if you wanna go, you don't, you don't even gotta pay to get with United Masters. But if you do pay with United Masters, they will hook you up, bro. I've been thinking about copping that deal, but I'm getting to that soon. But um, in Distro Kid and TuneCore, man, my, my bad, I'm looking over here cause I got my notes, stay on topic with y'all. But uh, yeah, man, that's, that's pretty much it. I didn't put everything in this one video. I want you to keep it short, you feel me? Cool, but you know, these are just the gems on how to be an independent artist in 2020. If you have having problems, you feel me? Or if you feel like, you know, you just, you just need some gems, you need to know a couple things, then this video is, you know, it's gonna take you to that next level. But if you like the video, man, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, man. You already know what the deal is. Make sure to hit my, uh, make sure to go uh, follow all of my social medias down below. You know the deal, man. But Cardi Bo in this thing, Cardi Bo out. Peace.